okay now i am on the recording now we will start so at very first it what happened there was a uh, I, as i told you fight was going between anvita sur and shiv shiv uh, lord and lord and you know it is it has been you know a consequential uh, way it, uh, it's been very long that always there is a differences between good or bad okay so in that yuga yuga also this happened okay basically when you talk about the utpatti when you talk about the birth of the vastu vastu came in the in treta yuga okay like there are four yuga are there the nowadays kalyug is going on but in treta yug it it uh, it born okay and uh, in it was born in the nakshatra called pratipad pratipad is the nakshatra when he born okay the note down all these things please pratipad is the nakshatra okay and after that the month was bhado in the bhado month in pratipad nakshatra okay vastu came vastu uh, born right and when he born the yoga the yoga was vyatipat vyatipat yoga basically is a yoga which makes a person very aggressive right so this is the short background of the vastu purush right is that clear mr morgan are you able to connect with me yes sir yes sir go ahead sir yeah then further in in vyatipat yoga on saturday on saturday basically vastu purush came into existence but his nature was very aggressive then he went to brahma he told brahma that i am also maybe i am i am negative at this point maybe i am very aggressive at this point but i am also uh, uh, i have i have been also given birth by you only it was because you expected me to you know come into existence that is why i, I took the birth then he requested brahma then brahma ji told okay no no worries from now onwards you will be my manas putra that means virtual son and i will help you to settle down on the earth and as well as it will be your responsibility to support entire humanity on the earth and specifically those people who will not follow the principles of vastu shastra they will become food they will become food of 12 devil powers because as i told you 45 deities are total there 12 are devil powers 33 are positive godly divine powers okay is that clear so in totality if anyone no no if anyone will not follow the rules of vastu he will become the food of those 12 you know you have to just see one thing here as an important point important point is negativity is also important and positivity is also important but when we talk about the balance of negativity and positivity when we achieve that balance that is called basically vastu shastra now we will talk in context to uh, our you know current scenario right how things are moving in the current scenario that we have to always gauge okay suppose you are putting up in a house because uh, house is a kind of thing which you uh, once make in a life okay it happens with you only it, it is it is very difficult for a person to get his ideal home but now what happens generally in india specifically when our architects do not have any exposure to this particular our traditional science they just keep doing they just they just keep constructing you know houses as per the you know contemporary needs of the people but generally this will this concept will not work this way we have to always create a balance of directions where are four directions are there and these four directions further create four sub directions also okay till this point i hope everything is clear now what we will do we will understand further how we have to create the balance and what are the important tender points but very sensitive points which always need to be taken care while constructing a a uh, plan for a house Ar what is the role of architect to construct a plan right now how they will construct a plan that we will understand basically now i will take you to the directions okay just a minute now you you will be able to understand properly here you can see this is a north direction basically i will start from north i can start from any direction 
even you can start from any direction generally um, it is considered as please uh, note down your all the points i will now keep speaking you please note down when we talk about the auspicious directions okay north direction and eastern direction is considered to be the most auspicious right on my screen also you can see if it is written entrance over here that means entrance is recommended in the northern direction entrance is recommended in the eastern direction as well as entrance is recommended in the northeast direction right these are the auspicious directions for your entrance but what will happen if you do not have any uh, you know if you have any wrong direction maybe your house is best facing maybe uh, you know uh, like uh, two three days back i saw a house where you know it was directed in the uh, it, its main door was in the west okay but now what happen in the west there are there is a certain impact when you have a western direction gate main gate there is a certain impact when you have a southern direction gate and specifically in southwest also we also have to see that your main gate should not be there and all, always remember one thing your southern direction your western direction and your southern western direction we always need to keep these directions heavy right is that clear till this point yes sir actually if you'll keep speaking me speaking with me you know i'll get a fair feedback so that i'll be able to you know change my pedagogy also if you require teaching pedagogy is very important if you are not understanding the things then you know certainly uh, there will be a problem now we come to the brahma this this center point when we talk about center point of any plot which is basically called brahma sthan basically brahma ji took the center place brahma ji came and he sit on the uh, central part of the uh, vastu purush which is near nabhi okay which is near nabhi brahma used to sit near nabhi so that he can have the entire control and he can sit there and he can give the guidance to all needful deities so that they they, they will work according to the vastu shastra right now i'll show you just a minute how vastu shastra how vastu purush settled down on the earth on or or on your plot or on your your you know it could be your flat how vastu purush settled down i'll show you those things you can see my screen right my screen is visible so from here you have to see this is the allocation of deities enlarge it sir this is the of, of 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 the deities how deities used to sit okay you can see from here from here can you enlarge it we can't able to read actually i can't able to read now also you are not able to read yeah yeah it's fine sir. now you can see from here to to this point till this point from here you can see my cursor my cursor is moving in this direction first 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then further it goes like this 9 then further it goes here and then finally here okay these are 32 devs okay in center 33rd is devta uh, sorry is brahma ji right in the very center and further you can see here all other important dev have settled down with themselves okay so this is the allocation of 
all 45 devi devtas you can say probably or uh, as i told you sur or asur negative powers and positive powers right so this is the allocation i'll share don't worry i'll share these images with you 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 will have these images with you i'll share i'll request nidhi ma'am she will give it to you don't worry you will get it in, get all these images in your mail just a minute just give me one minute i'm getting a ppt for you people so that oh. will be more no, engaging she... more engaging just a minute so this is a ppt in english format i have created for you all right can you see that yes sir so basically uh, this ppt will be shared with all of you but now i want to show you the important points over here which you should always remember further in in depth i will now uh, after showing you the uh, allocation of the vastu purush you can see here this in this image exactly you will see the allocation of the vastu purush right in the northern eastern belt you can see the head of vastu purush are you able to see my cursor guys please yes, say yes or no yes sir sir we could able yes, to see yeah do in in the northern eastern there is a head of vastu purush if, if suppose now someone if you, someone ask you uh, that why we have to keep north east light why we have to keep northern belt light why you have to keep uh, eastern belt lights if so, someone may ask you then you just deliberately think about this thing if someone put something heavy on your face how you will feel exactly that is the situation okay so that is why conceptually it is always told or it is said that we should always keep northern belt eastern belt and northern eastern belt as light and we should always keep brahmasthan neat and clean light right and the most important thing is these are very important and sensitive points right and you can see here also in this ppt all the Dev devi devtas are positioned so you will get this chart don't worry you will have it with you now i will go to direction wise settlement now what you should have in the northern belt what you should have in the eastern belt why you should have everything you know what, what is the reason why you should keep, keep southern belt western belt as heavy where your toilet should come i'll explain you those things now okay i guys please give me a yes or no at least so that i i can feel yes, connected yes sir. yes sir right right yes sir continue so with this note i'll go ahead and i'll explain you further few things you can see these are our five elements it is shown in the ppt you can see all these five elements basically your body is made up of five basic elements i hope you are aware about that fact yes right sir so when we talk about your uh, body elements or your panch tatva we have to simply maintain a balance 
of panch tatva on your plot that means balance of five element is the basic crux is the basic idea behind vastu shastra right so how you will achieve that that we have to see so with this note i'll show you one thing more just a minute yes now please note down when we talk about the element allocation your northern belt okay you can see in this chart also your northern belt is considered as a watery belt that means it can it, it is having element of water in it right further when we talk about northern belt it is a belt which is i i hope you all are noting down everything yes sir right when you talk about the northern belt northern belt is basically related to your finances right and if someone is facing continuous problem in terms of his finances definitely he need to energize or channelize his northern belt right and when we talk about the northern belt northern belt can be always channelized by putting uh, a blue light over there or sometimes if that direction is cut you know sometimes what happen these days you know flat system is there sometimes it happened due to the commercial agenda of the architects what they did they cut off some directions because they have to simply uh, deliver that carpet area to the customer which is committed but now the point is this uh, they do not consider any vastu but in that case sometimes if your north is totally cut down from your flat or it is does not exist then you can put a mirror in the northern belt and you can enhance that belt also you can put a Uh, aquarium in the northern belt if you are facing any issues and in that uh, now exactly what will happen as i told you vastu is all about connecting yourself with the nature and when we talk about the nature that means you have to always connect with the nature in terms of you know uh, getting synchronized with some of the natural things now if we will place an aquarium in the northern belt what will happen you will deliberately give food to the fishes okay if you will give food food to the fishes that means you are serving to the aquatic animals so it is considered as is very auspicious when someone is having financial issues and you recommend them a remedy that for channelizing the northern belt you do this two two or three remedies within 45 to 60 days you will fairly see financial opportunities you will fairly see uh you know uh, once the energies will be channelized that uh, smooth flow of the finances will be quite good and as well as if your money is stuck somewhere you know that will also come back to you so that is the uh, that is the northern belt if you will balance the northern belt that means you will not face any financial issue is that clear please do not write in the chat whatever because i i am not checking the chat when i am speaking uh, you just keep if you have any question you can always stop me and you can ask me i don't mind that but definitely otherwise you can you know always uh, write down your question you can ask in the in the last also so uh, now we will come to the northern eastern belt now northern eastern belt is also considered as very auspicious belt and in this belt generally this belt is in sanskrit it is called ishan kon okay ishan corn ishan corn means a, a corner which is make ma made up of two directions northern belt and eastern direction this belt is basically uh, considered as very auspicious belt in terms of your finances oh sorry finances nahi in terms of your mental peace right and there should be always a it is when you uh, ask me ke sir where where should a, where we should have our mandir in the house so this is the corner of your mandir in northern eastern belt you can always place your mandir you can worship there and it is recommended that when you worship in the northern eastern belt your mental balance will be very good as well as you will take very sensible decisions as well as if in the house kids are there you know if they are not doing uh, they are they are not able to do something 
you know good in terms of their academics then definitely this is northern eastern belt is a belt of jupiter as well as this is jupiter is what now jupiter is uh, considered as a leader as a as a father of uh, or as a leader of all the gods there are basically you you have to understand one thing there are basically two groups okay uh, as i told you in the beginning also uh, always duality is there in the nature so when we talk about the leader of all gods which is called guru jupiter or indra bhagwan generally we used to say and when we talk about the leader of all asur asur means devils okay so that is shukracharya so shukracharya is that way he is also guru of all asur okay but he is also guru he also have lot of respect that means so i just mean to say northern eastern belt belongs to jupiter and this is a belt which belongs to educational development which belongs to mental peace which belongs now you know so, um, when i used to you know visit to some house you know so, there are some cases i found that i am just give sharing my experiences also in between right then um, th there were some mentally challenged kids were there so and there were uh, as well as uh, like two kids were there one was mentally challenged it is just from one of my experience i am sharing so and another kid is there who who left his study that that was his el their elder son now when i asked them uh, like show me your northern eastern region then I, what i found that there was a toilet in the northern eastern region they were having two son one was mentally challenged and another was not doing anything not doing good in the education and he only left the education rather i would say and he was not in the right direction he was you know having bad company also all those things were there after that we rectified their northern eastern region now probably we also guided when we talk about the mentally challenged kids na specifically kids zone is western zone okay or or sometimes it is considered as northern eastern zone also when they are studying and when they are preparing for the competitive exams then they should sit in the northern western region so these are all parameters you know when we uh, take any education but when we talk about any mentally challenged kids in the home if you know it is uh, you know like a, a, a child is child you know parent parents generally do not do any kind of parishity for them child is child so for their improvement you can always recommend if any children is there who is mentally challenged he can spend his time in the southern eastern region so that will give him the positive energy that will give him the fire of sensibility or i would say you know in southern eastern because this that region basically belongs to fire right when a mentally challenge uh, mentally challenge means what a person a person who is not in senses and if you want to bring someone in the senses you can always you know either give him uh extreme sensations so in south east these two, uh, these children may get the extreme sensations due to that there are chances that they can recover okay uh, after once we rectify the entire was so uh, till this point i hope i am uh, reaching to all of you i hope you are getting yes, sir. sir i have a doubt if a yes. normal person is been placed in the south east uh, side what will happen to them Yeah, actually, for the normal. Will they become more aggressive? Yes, yes, definitely. For the normal people, generally, we do not recommend southern eastern region. Reason being, that region is basically for cooking of food. Okay. Okay. We, it, that region is a region of kitchen, right? But uh, this is uh, this is when we we are talking about the residential unit, not in the uh, commercial unit. when you talk about any hotel kitchen then entirely things went change things will be entirely different but right at this point i am talking to you in terms of in, in, in perspective to your house okay so in house in southern eastern region you should always have your kitchen that is recommended and when you talk about uh, bathrooms especially i am talking about only bathrooms now i am not talking about toilet or commode seat okay i am not talking about that if you really talk about bathrooms honestly speaking in terms of vastu is it is allowed that from you can see my cursor 
from here to here anywhere yes. in any direction you can have your bathrooms there is no objection from the vastu shastra principles in 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 that context but when we talk about the toilet specifically toilet generally look what happened in the uh, i would say hardly 50 60 years back okay or rather 40 years back only generally what happened we used to eat in the house and we used to go out to refresh ourselves generally this was the trend in the you know in the past if i talk about the history of 100 years only or it could be you know history of thousands of year also okay but nowadays what happen lot of restaurants are there lot of parties are going around lot of social media and social contacts are there generally what happen and you know lot of people are not putting up in the uh, joint family system lot of people are putting up loan and lot of people are you know putting up in the uh, in the nuclear families now what happen generally we used to eat and you know these days men are working women are also working so generally what happen we used to eat at the at outside and we used to uh, you know refresh ourselves in the house when we come out so agar indirectly we will see what we will see that indirectly we made our entire house as a toilet over this is an unfortunate thing but it is happening these days but uh, we cannot do anything because these are all social parameters social circumstances right so now when we talk about the toilets you should always uh, you know when we talk about the toilets if you are constructing a house you are constructing a plan you should always consider western belt first option southern belt second option third option is northern western belt in this direction you can have a commode and in southern belt never go for indian commode i am at this point i am talking about only western commode i am not talking about the indian commode in terms of indian commode actually western direction and southern direction are used to kept as heavy i told you very in the beginning also now my point is this when you will you know certainly do any kind of you know jisko hum bolte hain any kind of you know the pits are there if any kind of pits are there in southern belt or in the western belt you know those pits are you know called as uh, watery pits matlab it is uh, you know whenever because generally what happen in terms of our shastra below the earth or under the earth or beneath the earth we consider that water will come out so it is always recommended that never do any never create any kind of pits never create any kind of pits in the southern belt southern western region and as well as western region but if you are talking about the western commod that is allowed western commod is allowed in those regions and you can go ahead with the western commod right and when we talk about uh, this uh, region eastern region if you will have any toilet in your eastern region toilet means uh, any commod commod in your eastern region that will simply hamper your reputation that will simply hamper your social connect that will also give you litigation that will also give you uh, you know punishment from the government side that means litigation cases all those things will erupt all those negative energies will erupt at your commod so always avoid um, all these auspicious belt for uh, for having your toilets so ideal ideal belt for the toilet is first thing i am uh, first thing my context is western commode southern region western region so, so, and then further it comes northern western region only these three regions are allowed and when we talk about bathrooms you can have bathroom anywhere no issues with that but specifically in northern eastern never go for any kind of commode system in eastern region you will have litigations in northern eastern region you know you will your kids will face problem as well as mental peace will never uh, be attained in that particular house if you will create a toilet in the northern eastern region even stairs even stairs are very dangerous for the northern region for the eastern region as well as for the northern eastern region stair is basically considered as a uh, as a kind of uh, snake snake okay stair is considered as a kind of snake 
so it is always suggested that you should always have a stairs in the southern region that means south belt or southwest region that is or third at the third option there is a west region now why i am saying south southwest and west reason being i want the heavy construction to be done in these regions and i also want you should always put heavy furniture in the southern belt western belt and southern western belt so that so that these beds uh, will be uh, well suppressed and we want to suppress this belt and we want to you know uh, give boost to the positive uh, energies and positive deities so when we talk about northern belt kuber is there you know that means your finances when we talk about northern eastern region then jupiter is there that basically brings brings lot of prosperity mental peace meditation good vibes your kids are prosperous your good kids are doing well every day and they are in the they are in the they are you know connected with the knowledge domain you know considering taking knowledge if anyone in your in your, in your house taking good knowledge or he is accelerating on some you know big post or maybe he is achieving a celebrity kind of status that is always due to northern and northern eastern region then further east come east is a belt of sun okay so surya surya means uh, your reputation your connectivity with the government departments all these things as well as your socialization how you get socialized with the people how you make your social connects again belongs to surya and further if we talk about the southern eastern region southern eastern region is uh, is a region of venus right look suppose we meet we met a person and hum jisse mile when met that person we saw that his his you know aura is very strong his face value is very high when you are talking to that person you are you are almost spellbound okay that shows that south, southern eastern region of that person is very strong and it has been rightly placed and food is being cooked there in a very uh, you know traditional way and the lady of that house is very healthy okay but uh, now uh, like uh, recently a uh, few days back i saw a case where in the kitchen i saw there is a washing machine was kept now that gives a health issues now what happened why it is happening reason being reason being though we can treat that we can give the treatment but reason being that uh, contradiction contradiction between elements southern eastern belt is a belt of fire and if we will have uh, we will keep water with a lot of intensity over there you know that flow is very high that definitely sometimes create disturbance level for the female of that house okay so all these things happens so always remember one thing generally what will happen when water comes okay when water comes fire disappear it happens or not tell me fire and water are two opposite elements when water comes fire disappear generally this happen or when fire is a, 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 like aggressively uh, uh, like fire is there in any region then what will happen water will evaporate okay it entirely depend upon the intensity of that element if that element is having higher intensity that will definitely perish perish other element so this is the thumb rule so now when we talk about the southern eastern region southern eastern region is a belt of fire okay and in the same way when you talk about the southern region southern region means south south is a belt of mars mars means mangal okay and if you talk about south region it belongs to fire also it is a mixture of rather i would say fire and earth okay that region basically but if you talk about the exact south and if you talk about the deity of so southern region so so south belt is basically governed by the mars okay you can see my uh, cursor here i am showing you my cursor so in so this belt basically belongs to mars this belt basically belongs to venus this ball belt belongs to sun this belt belongs to jupiter this belt belongs to mercury or kuber you can always say elements are there then deities are there okay so here it comes southern belt this belt i have to kept very heavy as well as this is a belt of mars mars is a very aggressive planet okay and 
it is always recommended that we should always keep this belt very heavy. Then further, we if we come to this region, you can see this region, this is a southern western belt. This corner is again a corner of Lord of the house. Lord of the house means a person who is... Sir, we are seeing only the one picture actually. It's not moving. Yeah, actually, I'm just explaining you in one picture only right now because I'm okay. I'm, I'm showing you the elements that you can see my cursor, sir. Yeah, the my, yes, sir. Okay. You can see my cursor? Yeah, southwest. Okay. Yes, yes. Now I'm telling you the southern western region. I'll explain you more graphically, but this is, you know, I've kept a simple di diagram so that you can connect with me, uh, you know, uh, properly. That is why. Else, I'll show you other graphics also, then you will connect in a better way. Let me explain this, then I'll go further. Then further, it is southern western region. This belongs to the lord of the house. Supposedly, if you are having a house and you are the owner of the house, then this corner belongs to you. Okay? Southwest, or if some person is there right now, maybe your house belongs to your father also. It might be possible. So, your father should. Who is Whosoever is the lord of the house. Lord means um leader of that house lord means your parental figure your father your elderly figure maybe your you know someone who is your you know most senior person they should always take this region southern western region then further we come to the southern uh, maybe come to the western region west is a belt of saturn right west is a belt of saturn and here if we talk about western region here this is basically also considered as a belt of entertainment also. This is also considered as a belt of gaining knowledge also, right? Because uh, you have to understand when uh, you talk about study room, you can always have a study room in this direction, right? So, so this could be the southern western region is could be the region for your master bedroom. The western region could be the uh, bedroom for your kids also, auspicious, considered as very auspicious. Also, you can have, uh, you know, your one of the room in southern belt also, if you want. You know, this could be another uh, additional master bedroom or additional room, you know, for you. Because generally, two, three rooms are required these days in the house. So, I am just right now, I am discussing everything to you as a, as a concept of nuclear families only. Because nowadays, joint families are not there. So, that is why I am not touching that. So, when we talk about here, now this is the, our northern western region. This in this belt, the air air element is there, right? And air element is basically governed by the moon. And basically, when you talk about this region, if someone is having this region and it is rightly placed and it is well treated over here, so what will happen? Northern western region brings a lot of creativity to you, brings a lot of positive thought process to you. Also, those students who are preparing for their competitive exams, they can study in the northern western region. Also, northern western region brings a lot of energies. If maybe if someone in your house who is not getting married, suppose, suppose if he is not getting married, maybe your daughter, maybe your son. Okay, then what you should do? You can always place the belonging of that particular kid. Okay, to this region that will soon get you good results and he or she may get married. Okay, if someone is not getting success in the competitive exams, he or she will get success in this region. So, this is basically airy belt. This, uh, this belongs to air element. So, it brings a lot of thoughts, a lot of energies and uh, it is always recommended that a lot of air, air should come to your house from this region. Okay, it is always welcome. And uh, now if you will say a general question to me, sir, where we should have our windows, where we should uh, have our doors. So all belts in the sense, northern belt, eastern belt, northern eastern, northern western. I, again, I am repeating northern belt, eastern belt, northern eastern, northern western. Okay, these are all region from where you can get a lot of light, air in your house it, it is allowed that means i'm i'm telling you that it is allowed you can have your windows and uh, doors in these directions but if you talk about the directions which are objectionable so it is always recommended some in some situation 
we are helpless we can't do anything else and our door or our windows are there okay then it is recommended that you open it in the um, like for uh, in the evening time and you can always cover them cover them with the curtain of certain colors now if you are talking about the color here a little bit role of the color therapy also comes in the western region if windows are there you can always cover those windows with a black if southern western and southern region are there you can always cover those windows or doors with the brown or red curtains southern and southern west western region so it is recommended right and in the same way if you are talking about sir we need curtains in these directions also north north east and eastern region there you can use light curtains light curtains means white yellow or light green all these curtains you can use in these directions so this is basically something uh, uh, and an an input from the color therapy side which i shared with you okay guys so with this note i'll go ahead little now and just let me though i will share this everything is being written also whatever is written in this ppt i am speaking right now for you okay then when you will sit calmly you will be able to gauge now this is the chart this is again one of the important chart okay you can see this and now based on your queries i will reply you now based on your queries i will reply you because uh, the most important the basic things which were there you know the elements the direction the lords of direction i have already explained you right now i just wanted to take your questions like if you are having any doubts or not then i further i will explain you the you know uh, zone system right zone system that is uh, just to you know give a touch up for your architecture point of view is that clear any any questions from your side uh, yes sir i have a question yes yes uh, basically my room is present in the southeast Uh, region. So, is there anything I can do? You can be little louder, ma'am. Uh, my room is present in the southeast uh, belt. Okay. So, is it so, wrong or correct? So, uh, 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 what, what, do I what need is, any change? What kind of uh, are, are you facing any problem right now? Ah uh, yes, sir. So, uh, do you have uh, do you have any availability of any other room over there in your house? Yes, sir. But it has been kept as a store room. Uh, it is in the northern side. North east belt. North north sir. In the northern belt, then is it possible for you to shift there, or you can't shift? If you can't shift, then I'll give you the remedy. If you can shift, then probably you can shift in the northern direction. because uh, if you will be putting up in the southern eastern direction it will simply give you lot of yes. pressure unnecessary tensions okay and um, your health issues will be also curbed uh, like uh, uh, i married and i'm like uh, so now uh, we are getting into some issues there so i'm alone with my parents right now and all the things are happening so that is because of southern so, eastern belt ma'am So it is always recommended to you to is either either leave, leave leave this direction as soon as possible. Okay, sir. But uh, uh, like my question is, uh, will it affect my uh, what to say my career? Not exactly Some career. Is, uh, not exactly directly your career, but it will definitely affect your health. Number one. and if your health will not be fine how you'll be able to change your career also no that is the point thank you sir that is in question. indirectly it is creating problem yes sir thank you sir yes yes any other questions even even placing wrong objects now i am talking going to talk about the symbol signs okay supposedly okay 
supposedly if you have kept something wrong in the wrong in any direction okay that will simply impact your behavior that will simply impact your uh, you know conduct even um, that will Im impact your mental state also so you are, have to always be very conscious what objects you have kept in the what in which direction so uh, never keep never keep i would say cactus or those kind of elements which are having you know uh, these uh what you say you know all those objects which are which are which are sharpen in the nature okay so maybe it, it could be swing machine maybe it could be or th maybe thrones okay so all these things are uh, not recommended in all directions so that basically gives a lot of problem you're getting my point any for any 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 questions from your side or you can note down all these things you can see here i have deliberately created this chat chart and now in this chart you can see there are zones 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 so 16 zones are there okay basically these 16 zones are uh, useful for the architects when they create any plan they have to divide the house in the 16 zones and then further, further they have to start the plan of their uh, houses. Otherwise, it will be very problematic for them and they will, you know, give wrong options to their clients. So there are 16 zones. The entire plot could, can be divided in the 16 zones. And if you will not follow these rules, if, if these zones will be affected, then definitely there will be a problem for all of you. Right. So this, these are, you can see my cursor. These all belongs to, you know, blah, blah areas. Like East is there again, education, pride and daughter. Okay. As you told in, you are in the Southern Eastern region. For example, I'm just taking as you shared out. So now you are putting up in Southern Eastern region. Now directly Southern Eastern region comes here. You can see here. Daughter, daughter region belongs to this bed. Okay. So southern eastern, south and east mix. So now in your case, if you are putting up in southeast, definitely there, there uh, will be always a problem. Your issues won't be resolved as well as it makes you aggressive. It also makes you sometimes indecisive. Okay, and it also brings a lot of, uh, you know, health issues also. So always be cautious that never stay in the southern eastern region. That region is all look only considered best as for the cooking purpose. Okay. So it is always recommended to you that if you want to really uh, go back to your home, you want to get settled with your further family concerns, then Northern Belt and Northern Western Belt is recommended to you. Northern Belt and Northern Western Belt is recommended. Right. Thank you, sir. So I hope it is clear. Now I am going to share the auspicious signs. One more clarification. Can you yes, able to sir. hear me, sir? Yes, see, yes, if I... you see, our apartment entrance is east, actually. Right. Our entire apartment, main entrance is east. Okay. Okay. When you get into the lift and you come out of the lift, okay, my hmm. flat is facing west, actually. Hmm. You got my point? Yeah, I'm getting your point. Okay, so now I have to draw the things and everything with respect to my apartment or the flat actually. No, when you have, when you, uh, you are talking about your flat, that means first you have to go to the center portion of your flat, number one. Mm. Mm. Then you have to face the east. Okay. Okay. And okay. then you have to create a drawing of your house, exactly what is coming in which direction because this is so the first right we have to this... take the plot uh, flat diagram and then draw the zone and everything and yes, then yes. position it yes yes irrespective of the apartment whichever direction it faces not a problem yeah because reason being let me tell you very honestly when you talk about the compass system okay mm -hmm. when you place a compass in the center of your house okay mm -hmm. exactly in the center of your house your compass will indicate northern belt first. Okay. Mm. Mm. And in the right hand side of the north belt, there is east. Okay. Am I right? Correct. So, 
if you are having compass then you should follow the compass if you don't have compass sometimes some few people don't have then we told when you used to tell them always follow sun from where sun is rising in your flat or in your plot you have to see that direction okay hmm. from where sun is rising at in the brahm murat at morning 4 or 5 from which direction sun is rising that is your east okay so this is how you have to uh, calculate the directions okay. i hope sir it is clear yeah, yeah it's clear sir right so now going ahead with the further i am going to tell you further some good you know auspicious signs which you should place in your house if you get an opportunity you can always buy these things okay sometimes you are going to the market and these things are generally available in the market i am not going to ask some to buy something special right so suppose if you are going in the market you find sometimes white horses white horses okay so always place white horses in your northern western direction it is auspicious it is considered as auspicious and it gives lot of energy to all family members when we talk about the white horses these are simple uh, you know uh, photographs or you know symbols which are generally available as a decorative pieces in the market okay and uh, further if some if some of the people of some of you people might be in the marketing field might be in the holding some good position in uh, uh, in any of the organization and you are facing politics also okay organization politics is one of the factor these days now how you will handle that i am telling you that suppose if you are a marketing guy and you are not getting a sale you know you put a chess board in the northern belt you put a chess board in the northern belt okay and um, keep that chess board ready you know all black all black uh, black team and white team should be ready and it should be kept readily uh, you know there so, so that anyone can come and immediately start playing okay so always keep a chess board in the north direction you will get lot of success in for your uh, marketing strategies for your uh, for achieving your targets because these days you know marketing job is very common people are in the marketing field so that helps and the second factor which comes is organization politics maybe you are in the marketing maybe you are in you are in any department but organization politics is like a blood of blood in the body okay everywhere it is going on so if you want to be a, a good good person who, who diplomat person who can handle diplomat uh, diplomatic issues then always place a chess board in the western direction that will be good for you right then further it comes this is another symbol which i am showing you kaam dhenu gaaye kaam dhenu gaaye that means kaam dhenu kao okay sir we are not seeing the picture sir yeah actually pictures i don't have okay okay, okay. I, let me arrange let me arrange just a minute arrange i'll arrange just a minute just just give me one minute i am arranging a complete picture for you i'll i'll I give me because it was let me show you
no as a different it is not showing i'll i'll give you that thing by one by one i'll show you my voice is audible to all of you yes sir yes sir i'll keep sharing symbols with you okay you can see this is kam denu kao okay basically it comes in the silver as well as in the uh, uh in the in, in a stone stone format also okay so you can always use this ka, ka, ka kind of image okay in the in the eastern region and south southern eastern region this will bring lot of this will bring, uh, you know resolve lot of health issues like uh, i think the 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 girl which asked the question last so you can always place a southeast uh, cow this kind of cow picture in the southern eastern belt it will resolve your health issues it will resolve your all female related issues in the southern eastern region okay if anyone is having issues in the southern eastern region either you can place a cow this kamdenu cow or you can place a pyramid plus shukra yantra okay i'll explain you this thing also how to treat the entire house without touching even a single wall but i know uh, you know in terms of my experience that i know that sometimes when we do this remedy the entire you know um, the, the when we talk about the effectiveness sometimes effective uh, they are not much effective i would say not 100% effective but yes 40% 50% 60% up to 70% 80% we can we can try to you know cure these doshas without touching even a single wall right in the same way i'll show you some other uh, things also now i am showing just a minute ha huh, i'm showing the love birds suppose if you are having any problem okay i i am giving you one by one symbols which will help you for and i'll share these symbols for every direction theek okay? hai suppose if you are having any problem uh, in terms of your relationship with your wife or with your spouse i mean to say or ni i mean to say any one it could be the you know difference between sometimes uh, two family members also so love birds all, always bring you know coordination love birds always bring you know lot of uh, you know harmony in your houses you can see these images these are basically images of love birds okay so these images are available you have to place these images in the southern belt first thing is southwest second option south first option southwest second option south place this always place this it will help in a big way in terms of supporting your relationship you know sometimes uh, people come to us ki sir mera wife chhod ke chala gaya my wife left me and i am alone and we are uh, around to about to get divorce now in that case generally we get very good results by placing these uh, love birds okay then further if i talk about stability factor if you want to bring stability stability means Uh, you know suppose you are having a rented house every day you are changing your houses you are not getting anything first thing if i see from your date of birth okay you can even calculate vastu shastra from your date of birth also you know the here concept works means concept is if vastu reflects your bhagya then your bhagya by your bhagya is your date of birth now once you are born in the earth, on the earth your nobody can change your date of birth okay so that is your bhagya but now what kind of vastu you will get you know sometimes people are there who can't construct their even a single house in their entire life there are people there are cases come to us ke sir paisa bahut hai we have a lot of money okay i have six houses i have four houses i have two houses but i am not able to stay in my own house okay sometimes tenants are stay, saying sometimes their relatives are saying so, so any other person is staying but they are not able to stay okay so now these kind of things shows that you are lacking stability and now southwest is the region of stability now here you have to yellow you can see these pots 
this kind of pot you can always use. You can see the image. A heavy, heavy yellow color, you know, pot. If you will place in the southern western region, this will give you a lot of stability, lot of good decision making. If you are a lord of the house, you are a father of the, uh, you are father of the family, or you are the leader of that house particularly, then this type of you know pot, yellow color heavy pot, gives you lot of stability. It also brings. Uh, uh, I would say it also help you to manage your expenditures also. Sometimes as a family leader or as a, uh, you know, uh, like father of the family, you, you can't say no to anyone. Generally it happens. So what will happen is sometimes you should understand how to say no also. So it will help you to, uh, you know, balance your uh, southern western region and it will also give you the financial stability, mental stability, power to take positive decisions, aggressive decisions. Sometimes you will you have to say no to your kids. You will be able to say no to your kids also whenever required. If they are doing something wrong, then definitely you have to you know, stop them, right? So all these things come from this particular region. Now, when we talk about uh, you know court cases, litigation, lot of problem you are facing from the government side, then always go for the sun yantra, surya yantra. I'll just show you the image, sun. Sir, sir, one question. Yes, yes, please. Uh, so you said yellow pot in the southwestern region, right? Yes, it is. Now, it is one of the symbol. It brings a lot of stability. So is this pot you're talking about to have a plant in it or just a pot, or what should the pot have? Yeah, you can have a plant in it. No problem with that. So, so, so is there a specific plant that you need to have there? Uh, as such, no specific plant because it will require, uh, because because generally what will happen, sir, southern western region is a region, we say that it is inside the house and it is very difficult for them to get, you know, uh, you know, light and water in into this region. So it is always recommended those kind of plants which can survive without natural light. So those kind of plant is means you can say, you know, bonsai or sometimes, you know, that kind of plants are there that uh, money plant is there or those kind of simple plants which can live without natural sunlight and air. Those kind of plants are recommended. But even you can um, in the in the center of your house at Brahmasthan, you can use light to see also. But again, you know, you have to see this particular thing, okay, whether you are receiving some kind of sunlight and air in that kitchen or not. It is an important point. That is why I deliberately have not told, uh, you know, any plant. So plant depends upon the region. In India, in India, not only in India, you know, everywhere geographically, even we, when we travel uh, in the southern region, there are different kind of varieties are there. In northern region, uh, different kind of varieties are there. So you always have to gauge that. You always choose those plant which can survive without a little bit, little bit air and natural light is required for every plant. But exactly if you will ask me, okay, okay sir, uh, how we will bring then sunlight to this plant and air to this plant, those are the issues. So, so it is. it depends upon the belt. In your belt, go to a nursery, ask that person, uh, recommend us a plant which can survive in the house also, not okay. outside the house. So he okay. will recommend. He will be a specialized person. He will guide you on, board, on that. Sir, this plant is there. And that plant, you know, because uh, greenery is never harmful. You know, green objects in any area is never harmful. Or as I told you, you can make bathroom in any region. In the same way, water in any belt is never harmful. Even any of the element is not harmful. But their positioning is very important. You always gauge, uh, you know, you have to gauge that thing. So if you are putting up in Chennai belt, if you are putting up in um, Delhi belt, then there will be different plants. You go to nursery and ask them. They will certainly recommend you because this plant can survive with very less air and water. Okay, so you can choose those uh, you know plants. I hope, sir, I am uh, clear with yes, this sir. point. Right. So further, I am going ahead with another important symbol, which is called you know some people are there who are uh, you know uh, into procrastination. You know, they, 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 as a family leader, they have to do few things, few activities very promptly, but they are not able to do. Sometimes they are in the procrastination, you know, they are not able to take the decision. 
so in that case it is always recommended that if you want to take quick decisions and right decisions okay so you can always choose a heron heron means deer okay deer means what deer means what deer means speed deer means uh, salika salika means i could say etiquette whenever you know grace grace whenever you see a deer walks deer walks with a lot of tantrum and grace okay so that that basically is a symbol if you will put deer or maybe hare hare means khargosh khargosh hare in the eastern region so that basically in any member of you know, like any of the family member who is lazy who is into procrastination always use you know either deer or either hare okay or rabbit rabbit i either use rabbit or either use Uh, this deer this will bring lot of uh, speed and as well as balance to all family members among all family members it will be you know shown within 45 to 60 days you will see that now sometimes what happen you know people used to come to us ke sir our kid is not studying our kid don't want to study he want to study he want to leave the uh, education what we should do that means always you know go to south west region and check what is kept what object what symbol is kept in the south west region sometimes if there is a toilet in the south west region then there is a very you know like there is there is a proximity there are chances that your son or your kids will not accelerate in the education also and if your kids are mentally disturbed that means directly go to the northern eastern region and check whether any toilet or any you know um, like something it it could be one possibility that in the northern northern eastern region you are having kitchen now if you are having a kitchen in northern eastern region definitely health issues will be there lot of health issues will be there females in that house will not be uh, you know they will be not happy as well as they will not be uh, you know satisfied with their you know um, Uh, i would say uh, you know they they are targets of their life they won't be satisfied and they will face lot of health issues right so it is always recommended that never clash never clash the the elements always uh, there is a, a sphere of elements always keep that element in that particular sphere only only then it will bring lot of harmony and prosperity right so further if i go i will recommend ha huh, another thing there is a sign of called swastik i'll show you swastik sign sir uh, before we go further uh, you were talking about surya yantra when i interrupted you uh, yes yes surya yantra i told it it need to be placed in the eastern region if you are facing any problem related to the government issues if you are having any court cases or if you are having any bad you know word of mouth bad reputation that all that is all because of you know eastern region is disturbed and if you place a east a, this sign in the eastern region it will balance your eastern belt okay but all these are this is symbolic signs these are symbols okay so always it is recommended that keep east light neat and clean you have to come keep light furniture in this belt you can have your bathroom in this belt but not toilet and you can if still you are not able to you don't want to touch any wall then use these symbols these symbols will help you or you can place a pyramid plus sun yantra in this place it will automatically balance your you know eastern region so eastern region means something related to government reputation as well as upcoming generations also okay so all these things belongs to and socialization your your social connects okay there are some people who don't want to mingle with anyone who don't want to go anywhere there are few people who are reserved so in uh, now now if you are not having any social contacts then definitely it is it will be very difficult for you to accelerate socially so always it is recommended when you want to channelize your energies for society cause for social cause suppose you are running an ngo suppose you want to uh, you know um, you want to raise some funds from the society you are having you are into some uh, you know noble cause you, you know you need funds for social causes so all these things comes from the southern belt so sun this yantra or this image will help you a lot right 
Is in the clear? eastern belt. In the eastern belt, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Now, for uh, I'm giving you an, a very, very nice, you know, remedy now. This is the swastika sign. Just I mean, swastik sign. If you are a layman and you are not able to understand anything, whatever I am speaking right now, you say, okay, sir, I don't know anything. I, I didn't understand anything. Okay. Then simply buy this swastik symbol. Okay. Buy this swastik symbol and put these swastik symbols, including your main gate to wherever you want to place. You can use these. This is Indian swastik symbol. Can, can you see my cursor? Yeah. This, this is our Indian swastik symbol. Use this symbol and place in all the beds. This is a kind of, uh, you know, I would say this is a kind of remedy which will fit to all situations. Okay. Is there any other country swastik also? Is there? Uh, actually, uh, swastik works everywhere. But, okay. you know, Western countries are not uh, awakened or aware about these signs. You know, these days, what, what is happening? You know, a lot of Western people, a lot of, uh, you know, European uh, people from European countries are coming to Indian culture. Reason being, they are in the nuclear families, they are alone, they are depressed. Now, when they are connected to our culture, they feel strengthened. Their soul is strengthened. And in uh, in our, uh, you know, when you talk about, uh, you know, about, about the swastik, swastik is a sign of your soul and it brings, it brings stability to your soul and on the top of that you know eastern belt is also surya surya is basically is karak planet or karak grahe karak planet for our soul and when you talk about man when you talk about our uh, you know our creativity our uh, you know our desires um, uh, sometimes you are thinking ke, okay kash mein, uh, might be ke, aaj, uh, maybe mere paas bahut paisa hota might be mere paas bahut sundar wife hoti all these wishes when you talk about your wish when your heart say something yes it may be is it possible when you talk about the possibilities that is being governed by the moon moon is basically karak plant for our man 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 means look dekhiye ye bola gaya hai hamare purane geeta ke andar bola gaya hai suraj ke sath ghode hote okay to wo jo सात घोड़े होते हैं उनमें से ये एक है तो इसी तरह से सोल भी होती है हमारी राइट right? तो आवर सोल इज बेसिकली गवर्न बाय सन आवर हार्ट और आवर मन इज बेसिकली गवर्न बाय मून सो वेन यू वेन एवर मून इज डिस्टर्ब दैट मीन्स दैट पर्सन इज नॉट क्रिएटिव दैट पर्सन इज इन डिप्रेशन इफ इन योर हाउस समवन इज डिप्रेशन डायरेक्टली गो टू नॉर्थ नॉर्दर्न वेस्टर्न रीजन चेकआउट और डायरेक्टली गो टू नॉर्दर्न ईस्टर्न रीजन सेकेंड ऑफ अप्रॉक्सिमिटी Okay, northern western region, northern eastern. Check those those two region. Definitely, if depression is there in your house, someone is facing the depression. Kids are facing the depression, or maybe your wife is facing the depression. You know, most of in most of the houses which are south facing, they will face issues related to the females. When we talk about the houses which are western facing, they will face issues related to the money. Okay, so. it is always that is why it is always recommended that we should always have a facing of northern or eastern belts it is always recommended okay and at the third option northern eastern is there so these are the very important point you should always remember and if any of the direction in your house is disturbed due to any x y z reason okay just bring this swastik symbol and put in all directions put it in all directions This is a, a this is a kind of treatment which will fit to all directions. So you all directions can, means all eight directions. Yes, all eight directions. It will never give you any side effect. Rather, it will give you positive effects. Swastik okay. is such a auspicious sign that it will give you the positive aspects. Now, why it is happening? You can see here it is having four directions: one, two, three, four, as well as from Brahmastan is connected. Okay. even losho grid is also uh, losho grid initially losho grid was developed long back but uh, you know it is it has been again stolen by the you know i would not say stolen but yes it is taken away and developed further as a concept in the same way numerology is being developed and the same way tarot science is also developed but tarot any color something... of swastik is important or any color will do any 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 color will do. it is not harmful 
okay and if it is possible for you to get suppose if you got a yellow swastik if you got a blue swastik if you got a black swastik if you are getting a color option then you can always you know put in the stipulated direction suppose uh, you are saying ke, okay sir red red swastik you can put the red swastik in the southern belt if you are saying brown swastik you can put brown swastik in the southern western belt if you are saying black swastik you can put black swastik in the western belt okay if you are saying no uh, this northern western swastik northern western belt okay you can use blue color swastik in the uh, in the northern western belt and if you are talking about yellow swastik yellow swastik you can always put in the northern eastern belt okay and if you are talking about the southern eastern belt you can always put their white swastik or or silver color swastik in the southern eastern belt okay and if you are talking about uh, no no i hope all directions are covered yes okay i hope any directions is not left or have left black, black is western red is south blue is northwestern yellow is northeastern white is southeastern yes yes so uh, three i think i don't think we got the got three we, uh, we got the we got western southern uh northern and eastern those are the two things we are not covered so for for eastern direction we will again you we can use the white and yellow no problem okay and for southern eastern as i told you we can use silver or white yes this this color of swastik okay for no and northern and and in the northern also you can use black and blue no problem black or yes. blue because oh, yeah. it is a watery belt uh, now watery water is aqua so you can use aqua color you can use blue color blue shades or dark green shades in the in the northern belt right okay it is also the belt of mercury also so mercury represents green color so dark green color swastik you can use in the northern belt and for your for channelizing your financial condition uh, for your financial situation you know bring a, simply bring a aquarium to your house you know always keep you know uh, you know 2 4 6 8 this kind of you know numbers or even numbers not in the odd numbers you know they should be in the couple format so you can always feed this issues your financial stability will be there within 60 Uh, 90 days you will be financially stable you will got lot of opportunities if you are not getting so your financial doors will open okay so this is aquarium is in the southwestern in in no 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 aquarium is in the northern belt sir northern it belt. is a water belt north northeast both belts are okay right right so these are the symbols all symbols you know these are the general symbols uh, you know based on the kind of dosha you are having so you can use all these symbols i have deliberately discussed all the directions so that you know nothing has been left now now further if i go ahead mm. look the, the one thing is very important if you want to become an uh, astrologer or vastu consultant you should always focus on the uh, intuition part as a consultant if you are talking about your intuition should be you know very sensitive as well as whenever you enter to any home or any house you will always you know have a fair idea like what is wrong or what is right or sometimes people come to you they may say sir hamare ghar mein ye problem hai i am facing this problem सर घर में बच्चा नहीं पढ़ रहा सर बच्चे की शादी नहीं हो रही तो यू कैन ऑलवेज एलोकेट दिस इज अंस ओके यू कैन ऑलवेज एलोकेट कि अगर शादी नहीं हो रही तो क्या इशू हो सकता है घर में पढ़ाई नहीं कर पा रहा बच्चा तो क्या इशू हो सकता है करियर में ग्रोथ नहीं मिल रहा क्या इशू हो सकता है सो ऑलवेज सी ऑलवेज सी फ्रॉम द डायरेक्शन इफ यू विल चैनलाइज और बैलेंस दोज डायरेक्शन यूर इमीडिएटली यूल गेट द रिकवरी फ्रॉम ऑल दीज दो so with this point yes now uh, i'll take up your doubts any any questions you have now till this point no questions no sir okay
now as i told you okay your house is also reflects your house also reflects your bhagya and your bhagya also reflect your vastu okay that is the now basic principle now i will go to that principle and i'll explain you that principle with the help of a uh, uh, chinese concept it is a concept of basically numerology but it is very very accurate in terms of your you know personalities also as well as your it also reflects uh, it gives a fair idea like what kind of house you are putting up for example i'll take an example over here anyone can share uh, your date of birth with me and i'll show you one chart then we will put those so you will understand like this is the basic replica i'm just sharing the basic replica okay i'll share a low show grid with you you can see a low show grid on my screen just a minute so uh, my screen is visible to all of you yes yes it is now any one of you please share your date of birth any one of jisko apna uh, 18 12 1965 yes 18 12 1965 yeah now i will do one thing i will put these numbers according to this grid okay now where you are seeing four number okay but you do not have any four number in your uh, date of birth do you have four number in your date of birth no i hope so you are getting my point are you having four number in your date of birth So 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 four 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 number 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 in 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 your 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 date 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 and you should then ask for the all virtual possibilities you can do you know you can have a have their you know that layout plan you can always have, you can visit their house with a mobile camera and check all those things okay because in the covid from last one and a half year now we are doing this we are practicing vastu with this you know pedagogy only we are taking care of all our clients with this kind of systems okay now further if i talk about 18 number you are having number 1 yes you are having number 8 uh, i am putting number 8 at number 8 place number 1 at number 1 place okay then i am putting uh, again once again now you are having one two time you are having one three time rather okay yeah two is there okay then uh, nine is once six is there six is there okay and then further five is there so that shows now that shows what will happen first of all uh, who has given this date of birth what is your name murugan so murugan sir uh, you are having your own house yeah you are putting up on the ground floor no fourth floor on the fourth floor yeah okay and uh, just a minute you are missing Seven number nine six seven. Seven is missing. Three is missing. Four also is missing. Yes, yes. I have already kept a uh, cross over there. So basically, if I conclude from this particular grid. okay um if i ask you are you a person who is supported by family or are you a self made person self made reason what is the reason reason being the people who are not ha having seventh number 
they do not have family support they generally tend to grow by their own so all this is reflected by your date of birth and now if you are talking about uh, 3 1 3 times 1 is there that shows that you are having lot of planning with you okay lot of planning with you but most of the time you are confident also but you are you are not able to implement those plans and when you talk about nine number nine number shows that you are having energies you know but still you require more energies you know to channelize all your goals okay that shows this kind of thing and when we talk about 258 number 258 number shows basically that you you will have your own house otherwise some of the people are there who cannot make their whole uh, their own house by by their own okay so this shows and also people who are having eight number they can you know always pursue or follow anyone for their work and they are very determined to get their work done and you know they are also very good marketers okay so this shows this is shown by number 8 and here and when you talk about number 5 you are having number 5 also that means you are quite stable number 5 is the basics you know you can see here number 5 is in the center so it brings it gives you lot of stability in your character it gives lot of you know mental strength to you and it also provide you lot of mental balance so that you can advise people around you okay and it also shows that you are a person of principles okay so whatever i have described how much you find that i am right or wrong yes 70 to 80 percent right further now when you talk about your four number and three number is missing that means your wood element is lagged wooden element is lagged in your this chart you can see here my cursor yeah Four and three, this is lagged. Now what will happen at four and three? Sometimes you don't want to get socialized and you mix miss lot of opportunities. Sometimes you know it it brings also you know gives you sometimes a kind of egoistic behavior also. Okay, I don't want to meet that kind of thing. So basically this factor. Then further, eastern belt is also responsible for your health factor for factors related to your bones or factors related to uh, i would say uh, sometimes uh, you know there are different kind of fevers but you there are people who sometimes due to some complexity they are not able to de detect that kind of fever so it happens due to eastern belt right and the same with the here with the western belt uh, sorry with this four number also when we talk about four number there is a lot of you know instability in terms of business opportunities you know where is the of... direction where is the direction here sir 438 is the east yeah actually uh, generally you if you will see my cursor look sir yeah. here it is east it is mentioned the direction okay. see my cursor yeah i see yes 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 and it is west this is the western belt and this is northern belt okay so it shows that you are having wealth with you northern belt is water belt it shows that money will be with you but channelization and use of that money should be proper you have the planning but your implementation of the planning will be very weak so that kind of things happens so if uh, you know further if we go to this region you know someone lacks suppose i i told you that you lack seven number now seven number represents your family family support okay seven number is also a number of ketu so ketu is a person when you lack ketu so that kind of people you know generally trust people very soon okay and then further they are you know deceived also so always it is recommended to you that don't trust people blindly okay never give money to anyone so easily if you will give money to anyone you will be definitely land in trouble your money will never come back okay and that also shows that you are self made generally so why you are self made because family support is not there that so that brings that you know shows that you are self made but how you are self made now five number is there you know you are 258 you know earth element is properly there you can see earth earth 
earth you can see here earth 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 so earth element is there that shows ki yes you will have your own house so these are all replicas your date of birth shows you know it might be possible that you miss the fifth number then there might be issues with your stability factors it might be possible that you you lack eight number then you are not a good persuader you are not a good marketer okay, okay. then might be uh, there is a person who used to do lot of hard work lot of hard work continuous hard work only then they get the result you know it brings lot of struggle also if you don't have this number but if you are having it then there is no issue you are having it also okay so you do you are having 258 complete 258 with you so that you know brings lot of you know good uh, things to your life first thing confidence stability you know your own house your capability to uh, take the decisions so all the, these things can be judged through this grid only and it shows you yeah, like where are the problems in your house now your seven number is missing that shows that in your southeast might be there is a problem mr murgan there is a problem or not just tell us in southern east region seven seven yes seven is for which one missing sir southeast where is your southeast why i am saying southeast i'll explain you but at this point yeah. i'm just talking about your uh, southern eastern region what kind of uh, like everything is fine in that region or uh, no, some, some health issue health issue is there okay okay so that is because uh, now as this science is also connected to the astrology also since since you know by the grace of god uh, i am practicing astrology from last almost now 20 22 years so i know astrology also i had been you know using you know these numerology formulas also for calculating all these things and these all are also all science you know vastu numerology tarot all these are connected science okay generally it happens that you know vastu people can guide you simply based on the principles of vastu but i am taking you one level beyond that and i am explaining you those factors also where with the help of only date of birth you can gauge so many things okay so uh, another thing i want to ask you here uh, as you told that you are southeast in missing okay uh, like any 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 you know social issues are also going around i mean to say how good you are in terms of socializing yeah people. i am a very good networking person actually okay so i have lot of networking actually but presently i am not working i took a retirement actually right 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 and what is the, your your objective to uh, you know 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 about vastu or just a kind of you know just for knowledge sake yeah it's a, just a curiosity actually i have a lot of free time and everything okay so uh, i take whatever comes to me to learn anything because i have a lot of free time in so i want to do learn everything whatever possible actually right 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 so this is you know i would say one way you know when it was a scarcity of the you know somehow there were issues then i you know probably start using this technique two years back yeah, and this was very good technique which you know with the only help of your date of birth also you can gauge so many things sitting in your own house at you know it's a uh, low shu grid one word sir low shu is one word in L-O-S-H-U. chinese it is called l o s h u low shu grid L O S H U Loshu Grid, and in in Indian system, it is being taken from Indian system only. Actually, in our traditional, uh, you you will see one important thing, sir. Here, when you plus four plus nine plus two, when you do any kind of addition in any line, fifteen. Four plus three, ha. Huh, everywhere fifteen will come. Okay, so fifteen for fifteen here here fifteen means when you take the mulang, it will come six. In six represents the lakshmi yantra in indian language if you say this is called our lakshmi yantra okay in indian system suppose if you want to achieve the exact balance of your vastu you are not able to do any remedy suppose suppose you are you are not able to do any remedy on 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 friday okay on friday with a green pen okay just prepare this grid just prepare this grid okay and keep it in your wallet or keep it in your purse or keep it with you or you can even wear it in the uh, you know kind of small pendant format tavis type bana ke aap ye pocket mein rakh sakte hain 
with a green ink pen on a white paper make this grid your you know all vastu dosha will you know the, all those energies will be automatically channelized but it will take certainly some time it need a lot of time i need i mean to say at least uh, 60 days to 90 days period it requires to get channelized then every day you have to you know see that you know taking in your hand just see that and then again put it in the pocket you know you also have to maintain a connect with that thing with this grid so you will get lot of you know matlab uh, i just mean to say that generally what happens vastu consultant come and they say okay, break this break that so i am i do not follow that practice because uh, it is very difficult for a person to break something in the house in their own house so these remedies simply help and it will give you recovery up to um, sometimes up to 60 70 80 percent also but not 100 percent so it is always recommended that uh you know if you want to recover up to 50 60 40, it ranges start from 40 to 80% you can say so in 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 when you talk about northern eastern region brahma brahmasthan when you talk about the southern western region these are very sensitive region. southern western region means lord of the family he should have his bedroom over there he should have sitting area over there one family photograph smiling photograph should be there in the southwest that brings stability to your family members your northern eastern area should be clean that brings stability for your kids your kids will prosper and they will achieve their uh, they will achieve their goals okay so these are sensitive points so with the help of remedy we can do the recovery up to 40 50% uh, you know with if you are very pure you are having a lot of good energies positive energies in you then you can you know channelize um, these belts with these remedies also so this is one way to handle the vastu shastra but there are other ways also if you are having suppose a fresh uh, you uh, you got a chance to create a fresh uh, you know uh, you know uh, layout of your house then definitely things are different even then we can decide even you know from where your floor should be at higher side for from where your floor should be at lower side your all wasted wash water like waste water waste water means sewerage water it could be kitchen water it could be bathroom water it should go out from your house from the northern and eastern region northern and eastern region these belts are very auspicious belts for giving exit to your water or waste water or dirty water of your house and that is why it is said that flow of the house <coughs> flow of the house should be always kept from south to north that means your southern region western region and southern western region should uh, that plinth level that floor level should be at little high and northern and eastern region and and uh, northeast region floor should be little at lower side so that flow of the water or exit of the water should should be done from the northern and eastern beds i hope it is clear yes sir it is very important part if by the grace of god you got an opportunity to have a fresh house to go into fresh house always follow these principles it will help you in a you know best way and honestly speaking um, it is not possible Uh, uh to you know always have a very ideal house specifically these days but we can always try and also there is a lot of you know people ask uh, come and ask me sir my house is in southern belt my house is in western belt and we are crorepati we are having billions of money with us you know actually there is a perception why my 90% of the people when come to me they come to me for money sir paisa when money will come how money will come or if money is there how you know we should enjoy with this money give us those means and ways but nobody comes to me who says ki sir i don't have money but just make me happy if with that intention people will come that entirely you know uh, vastu uh, will be you know uh, vastu will be taken care in from different kind of perspective because vastu makes you happy calm a person who is with a lot of wisdom okay vastu is something about your wisdom vastu is something about connectivity with the nature connectivity with the god 
It is about your sukh. It is not about your sampatti. It is not about your finances. It is about your calm, cool, calm and composed mental state where you can really meditate and focus towards the ultimate purpose of your life. Ultimate purpose of your life means, I mean to say, we are humans. We are through a moksha, uh, we are through a vicious circle. Every time we die, we took a birth. We die, we took a birth. We die from, you know, thousands of years it is happening. When, but when you are awakened, your body is an instrument. Nobody comes to me where people ask, sir, make me a person who can concentrate on the, um, you know, supernatural aspects of this nature. Who can, or sir, make me a person where I can connect with my divine powers. People generally do not come to us with this object. People come to us, sir, uh, loss ho gaya. People come to us, sir, beti ki tabit khrave. Sir, bete ka shadi nahi ho Sir, bachcha ghar mein pad nahi ra. You know, people are coming with this uh, materialistic problems. But Vastu is not about the materialistic issues. But definitely, if you are having a better Vastu, these materialistic problems are byproduct. These will be automatically resolved. But the basic prerequisite for that is you should be a person who is in the best mental state and who can always connect with the God whenever he wants in whatever you know uh, uh, time when in, in, in like in, in, in a day in whatever uh, moment in whatever you know in, in an hour or minute, if you want to connect with the God, your mental health, your you know, physical health should be so well synchronized so that you can connect with the God, you can meditate and at the end of the day when you are meditating, you are awakened. Ultimately, what you are doing on this earth, then ultimately what will happen, you will simply you know, uh, come out of, you will, you will be simply able to come out of this vicious circle, which is called dunya, which is called world, which are called materialistic world. This materialistic world in the Gita, it is rightly said that this materialistic world is nothing. It is just Maya, Leela of Prabhu. What is Leela of Prabhu? This is all being seen, all traumas, all worries. It, 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 it you know, all negatives are there. They are also for the good. It simply built your character. Okay. When sometimes problem comes to you, people say, sir, mere saath ye ho gaya, mere saath itna bura ho gaya. Sometimes people come, sir, mera bacha ka death ho gaya. You know, a, you know, a person who is having this kind of trauma with him or her, okay, definitely this, you know, I am not saying, ke, you know, people should, uh, that means I am not saying ke people should face the bad events, but I just mean to say that these bad events also make you a better, uh, that brings, a, a, you know, I would say very, very, very strong character value for you and strength of the character basically helps you to achieve the goals of your soul at the end of the day there are two perspectives or three percent perspective is there one is your soul and it is, is your man and third perspective is your physical body your physical body is made of pancha tattva your pancha tattva should be synchronized with the vastu purush if that is synchronized with the vastu purush your health will be good if your health will be good that means your man will move in the right direction, not in the wrong direction. Generally wrong, you will otherwise move into the wrong company. You will be addicted to alcohol. You will be addicted to cigarettes. You will be addicted to anything, anything. Any addiction is bad. And then further, you know, your body is good. Your money is good. Your money is going to the... Now, If suppose you people are here. Suppose you people are here. Who told you to take this workshop? Who told you? It is just because your, your man, your man want to achieve some positivity in a day. Okay. And why you want to achieve that? Reason being that is the ultimate thrust of your soul. That is the ultimate thrust of your soul. Every soul is pious. Every soul is good. But it is only about the awakening of the soul. Suppose if a person does a murder, that means he is not awakened. He did that. Why? Because of fire element. Gussaya, he was into anger and he killed somebody. Okay, now your mental state or your, um, you know, non-awakened awakened format of your soul, you know, brings all the wrong karma. Ultimately, astrology is what? 
astrology is something around judging your you know chronological series of your karma and how it will go and is it is a tool whether this time is right it is a kal chakra time is right or wrong time is right or wrong mahurta is good or bad so astrology is a tool in the same way vastu is a tool vastu is a tool to balance your directions astrology is a tool to balance your karma according to the time what time is auspicious which mahurta is auspicious okay or uh, actually vastu and astrology something it is belongs to uh, you can say uh, you know rajas okay these are the moving sciences it talks about the movability changes sometimes you bring uh, something from the market and you put it anywhere without thinking ki isse mera vastu kya hoga whether my vastu will be affected or not you bring a sewing machine for example and you put it in the eastern direction you bring a sewing machine and you put it in the, you bring a mixture suppose you bring a mixi okay and deliberately you don't want you want to gift it to someone else you bring a mix you put it in the uh, northern direction okay i'm just talking about a mixer grinder it is just a symbol again okay you put it in the in your eastern direction now what will have happen you will certainly have some quarrel with uh, uh, in, in a so in your social sphere okay because that symbol is not auspicious for the eastern belt that is a symbol to be used in the southern eastern belt but you have kept it in the northern belt might be in the eastern belt that will create that kind of so because why it happened now because you were not awakened because you were not awakened and what is the ultimate objective was this you know workshop also honestly speaking if you are gaining some wisdom you are gaining some knowledge and most important thing you know we all have knowledge hum log till the time we you, you know our, our whole experience of life is there our education is with there our our family sanskara is there when we are about to die we have lot of knowledge with us but definitely not no we have lot of experience with us but what happened what went wrong for the whole life we have not applied we have not applied those uh, those awakening factor that knowledge factor in our life for our general you know which is called jeevan yapan Gen general, you know, uh, I would say general course of your life. If you, if your general course of your life, if your normal life is being governed with the principles of vastu, astrology, then definitely your ultimate objective, your ultimate thrust of your soul is mental peace. When you are in mental peace, you can achieve your supernatural goals. You can directly enter in the meditation. Like suppose. If you ask me, sir, for example, how vastu came, how astrology came? Now, in the form of meditation, when our rishis were meditating thousands of years back, almost ten thousand years back, the kind of history we generally came to know five thousand, ten thousand years back, right? Like those are the eras. Okay. Now, when our rishis are you know meditating and they are getting those shlokas. in their brain and they those shlokas why they have created those shlokas reason being at that point our rishis were simply worried about the humanity how these humans will live on the earth so at that point you know these spiritual tool come in the format of sanskrit doha sanskrit mein doha visualize kiya sanskrit mein they thought something that emerged that came into us to humans as a uh, sanskrit doha because you will see our most of the sculptures our vedas now um, uh, vastu is a part of stapadya ved it is the part of atharva ved atharva ved is a main ved up uska up ved hai stapadya ved and stapadya ved ka part is vastu okay it is part of stapadya ved of that which is up ved now the point is this these all sciences are created only for humanity but when people come to us they say ki sir i want to make a career in vastu shastra because now ab kalyug hai things have changed and definitely it is required also as earlier barter system there so energies were exchanged in the barter system also but these days objectives are you know more commercialized i am not saying commercializing is bad but you know the basic crux of the knowledge should not be forgotten you know uh, due to my own because sometimes uh, it happens you are a vastu consultant sometimes a person comes to you 
and he may say that sir i do not have money then you will not help him i think if you will not help him you are the worst person on this earth okay uh, why i am saying this you know because you never follow these sciences for vast that, that should be the objective you know it happens also and i got lot of scolding from my wife sometimes you know i kai bar aisa sometimes it happens there is a person who came to me it is you know almost now 7 years back there is a person in the morning 6 o'clock he came to me and uh, that person was a, a daily laborer his 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 kid was admitted in the hospital in the morning 6 o'clock and he he came um, 40 kilometers on the cycle in the morning he, he said ki sir i was not able to sleep for the whole night i have listened your some of the um, you know videos and and uh, you know since i belong to i belong uh, i belong to rajasthan okay so i was in uh, rajasthan at my parental house at that point so he took his cycle and he came to know from somewhere that bhatia sir i am so he came there in the morning he reached he started 1 uh, o'clock in the night and he came reached to me at 6 6 o'clock he came to me i said hanji boli he said he start when i open the door he start crying then i listened i made made him sit i listened then i told okay I, i'll go but uh, uh, like i charged then he said i don't have any money sir. then i then you know certainly uh, you know my wife looked at me i looked at my wife then i told him okay i just woke up let me get fresh let me get uh, let, let you sit there i'll arrange a breakfast for you you will have a breakfast then we will go main niche utar ke aaya i'm like we, I, I, then i asked him the breakfast he told no i don't want to have breakfast i told okay have a tea then he had a tea i had my breakfast then i come down okay i i said ki okay now let us move so he said he was on the cycle then i made him sit in my father's car i told him sit with me we will go to your place and we went to his place i told him okay just show me your place now everything was in the shattered condition kitchen was wrong and walls uh, eastern walls were shattered okay northern eastern walls were also shattered you know walls were uh, you know those, those were um, uh, walls made up of soil soil and cow dung so i told him to repair those walls and uh, I, i i asked her wife to come out of that kitchen that was wrong and i told i just took a wooden a wooden uh, this there was there was a wooden heavy plank was there i told just keep you are uh, you just sit on this and and uh, operate this chula in the open from this belt then probably th- i was not having much options to guide him but whatever in the best way i can mend at that point i guided that person i left that person at his home and i came back and after now uh, you know one and a half year passed away again when i went to my parental house you know that person come to me and then he told me sir uh, my Uh, you know eventually um, one of uh, part of my property went for a, a atm uh, that some bank has taken one part of my property for atm now i am getting fixed income also i am doing my work also and when you implemented those remedy uh, you know we we were simply following that and we uh, i told you how you meant that wall kehta sir humne we did that wall we made uh, that wall with our own hands so it took us 7 to 10 days we meant that wall also we recreated that wall and as you told that you have to do colors we have colored that wall in the yellow that wall in the yellow i simply because i don't have much option in that house so i told him colors i applied the color therapy there he simply applied those colors in those direction and by the grace of god he came after one and a half year and he paid my uh, money also to me he said ki sir i want to pay you fees i came to know that you are here in rajasthan so i thought ki i may sir ko fees de ke aata hu now just table and by the grace of we are doing that so this is the impact i mean to say never uh, i i just mean to say never follow money in this line if you want to come for money money is a by product and the most important thing which you get is you know lot of people will give you blessings that blessings actually will be your real earning so with this objective you always have, have to follow these sciences it could be astrology vastu shastra so in actually in my case my father is my guru Uh, from the age of 14 16 i used to sit uh, you know nearby to him he is also a doctorate in this field so he is my core guru in vastu i follow dr sip prasad he is my guru 
and uh, i you know totally you know spent uh, so many years in the uh, with my gurus in their sanidhya and after that i left this field also for some years due to my you know some i would say this is i would say i, I was unfortunate and i went into corporates i started uh, a job and then you know finally ultimately now i am back to my you know peripherals again after covid i would say right guys yes, but yes sir sir doctor uh, you got your doctorate in uh, vastu or uh, astrology no sir i am a qualified astrologer from indian council of astrological sciences that degree is is, is a basically uh, uh, post graduate uh, kind of uh, certification you can say because at my point at when i was studying in 2002 Uh, at the age of 22 only i have cleared this examination i was very young but my experience was very less that experience thing i got my from my father i used to you know always took his bag and i used to move with him to all the cases wherever he used to when my so father your doctorate is, also, is in dif- your doctorate is yes, in my my doctorate is in digital marketing sir. oh great thank you bhatij i am a basically guy from a digital marketing and uh, i am i have done uh, i was into marketing jobs for uh, in the traditional marketing for almost 14 15 years when i left this field that was the biggest mistake of my life and uh, then you know uh, one situation again came then i transformed myself and i entered into digital marketing because uh, traditional marketing got obsoleted and at the core if you will ask at the core i am a graduate of music i am an indian classical music guy Uh, in the in the indian uh, classical music so i am a b muse so at the very beginning i started my journey with uh, uh, astrology then music then further i went to mba so this is my journey and after mba i completed my phd during that time i was in the industry also for 15 years i was in the corporate i was working there as a marketing you know i was still i am for you know consulting i am still consulting you know some of the universities also i am also working honorary director of centurion university in bhubaneswar so these are all things but uh, now you know after covid i have you know uh, given a i have taken it i took a mission to share my knowledge among you know uh, like in society also that is why i started these workshops i hope a lot of things are i have covered uh, still please Just any now doubts. visited your facebook page and your youtubes and everything it's very excellent thank you buddy ji right right sir so th- this is you know entirely my journey why i have shared my journey reason being that uh, you will be at least connected like every person whether he is a astrologer whether he is a vastu consultant we all are humans we are you know considered on the same parameters by the almighty god and everyone you know get uh, negative or positive you know all kind of uh, you know time frames are there we we uh, we are bound to go through all these things so this is something uh, you know we have to understand and uh, like now now over to your questions then we will close the session please ask your questions freely whatever you want to ask i'll reply your all answers please please don't mind i i, I if you want to take up personal questions also you can take i will not say ki obje- i will not create any objection Okay, no, don't so ask this side, me. Say, yes, I don't please. have any questions because I say I don't have any expectation on the course. I came to just learn it. See, I feel some kind of a country was to actually. Okay. See, our plot or our living area is in our country. Okay. If you take the was to of our country. Okay. Uh, if yes. I like you draw the eight box, nine box for your plot. I draw the nine plot box for the country. Hmm. okay if you see the northeast money is there from bombay power is there from the north okay hmm. uh, is it a right approach also because uh, basically we live in our country and we have to follow what is the power sir, in our sir, country ha- and have you noticed it. have you noticed one thing um, in every region because there is another concept called which is called divisional vastu okay hmm. one you are when whenever we Uh, look at the vastu comprehensively that is a broader image and when we talk uh, when we go little deeper okay we have a divisional vastu also and in terms of divisional vastu you will always notice that in the south in the south lot of wealth is there even if you talk about delhi 
southern delhi is a belt where lot of rich people used to live lot of money is there when you talk about south yeah, yeah. Local... i lived I, I i you see that also because i lived in south ex okay i lived in rk most of the 12 years i lived in south of delhi actually in all the metros if you see a uh, south portion is always richest actually south of yes. madras they are richest but they are not uh, contented they are not sukhi honestly speaking that is the basic difference being rich is not the definition that you are happy that is my point and that is the ultimate point also sir even south korea even south mumbai even southern area southern um, you know if you talk in context to our uh, india south india south india lot of gold tirupati temple full of gold okay lot of gold lot of wealth people are very rich in southern belt they have simple lifestyle but they are very rich okay but they don't do they do, don't show off like northern now in north india people do. okay that is the basic difference but my point is this ke everywhere you will see wealth in the south but the point is this wealth is not everything ultimate thing is your happiness your contentment your soul should be satisfied that something someday you know sometimes it happens uh, sometimes you say you made my day how anyone can made your day or make your day the point is this when you something you you are touched by the heart so though that is uh, vastu is about touching the heart that is my main concern sir you are getting my point sir 100% yes, 100% but ji you are correct actually yes sir so, i have a question yes praveen sir uh so uh, in the low shoe grid that you showed us uh we we didn't see zero in it but many zero, of our zero, birth zero. dates will have zero yeah yeah zero is not there actually 1 to 9 9 planets are there correct so uh, how do when you when when you are looking at the low shoe grid and you are calculating it uh obviously it comes off, out of so many years of experience but uh where is the zero uh even the zero is added to something there is the, it, the other value, other number retains its value so is it that a zero does, is not assigned value by nature yeah yeah so is not assigned the value sir that okay. is the point we do not consider in our calculations also that is the point. okay okay so zero so, should not we should not consider zero we should always always consider 1 to 9 but there are aspects so if you, if there you are aspects thank you there are people who are born in in the uh, months before 10 so they they are basically looking or the 10th month so they will have a zero there there are there are children like my son is born in 2001 so there are two zeros there. so the, the you have to eliminate the zeros and just look yes, at yes. the total you to value eliminate you have to eliminate the zeros um, now yes. all all people which are in 2000 after 2000 who born they they are missing nine number so nine number means fire okay 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 so now in that case we have to give the uh, energies of nine number to them through through some you know something we need to do in that area that means yeah. we have to channelize that number whatever number is missing we have to channelize suppose if you are in your horoscope suppose for example five number is missing then we will recommend you uh, panchmukhi rudraksh in five elements okay, okay. now if in your horoscope metal element missing okay metal element is 7 and 6 for example any of the okay. number is missing we will recommend you to wear some kind of metal okay then for example now what happen uh, you know you can always be, be, suppose your 6 7 number is missing you can wear a metallic uh, watch for example you can wear a watch also which is having a kind of uh, you know golden strip in it that kind of watch you can wear or you can wear a watch of silver uh, that which is having silver uh, like uh, uh, this thing so silver watch is al- always recommended okay so okay. you have to understand like simple you know we have to simply put in our uh, common sense vastu shastra astrology it is being it is being actually Uh, the image is like that ki yes it is very complicated you cannot do generally people say bahut dam lagega bahut ye hoga okay that is fine if you are a pure soul and your heart is good your intuition will automatically develop once you learn this sciences 
and this sciences helps you to develop your intuition also okay so basically if you talk about five senses eye is there tongue is there skin is there taste is there smell is there and right. if you talk about um, action action senses your speech is there okay your excretory system is there okay your reproductive system is there your hands are there your feet are there so now these are 10 elements which yeah. is governed by your man okay indirectly okay. but okay. which is now there are six darshana there are science uh, you know six philosophical uh, point of views are there so there is a one darshan called which is called sankhya darshan so according to sankhya darshan sankhya darshan says that there are few things which are manifested those are manifested you can see okay supposedly you are putting up in a house that has mm -hmm. been manifested by an architect first right. he did the planning he visualized that okay now okay. there are two kind of aspects one are manifested which is which which you can see those who are not manifested okay so mm -hmm. sankhya darshan talk about that so those are who are non, not manifested and that element is our sixth sense so this sixth sense will be automatically developed once you you know knows these sciences so this is the you know deep down since you have discussed so i took another step you know deep inside but these are the real factors which work actually you have to understand one thing what is the quest of human what is the mm -hmm. quest of we are we are basically the quest of human is you know to change the nature we are always trying specifically when we talk about the western civilization they are always fighting with the nature they are you know uh, they they are almost behind woods janglo ke piche pade they are you know destroying the woods they have lot of industrialization and lot of industrialization come from the west i am not against technology or i am not against a, you know uh, you know uh, industrial development i just mean to say we need to have a balance okay you want to you have to want to put the industry okay but why you are cutting the trees also at the parallel road if you are cutting the trees then you know you have to simply uh, grow more trees in the same ratio that is called balance but human has not done that and due right. to that we all are suffering on this earth because balance our connectivity with the nature is not there and nature talks to us in in only three signs they gives you three kind of signals always one is right. rajas satav and tamas you know we are always grounded with three kind of actions always taken if you are a sat hindu satav you are you are into sat. if you are into rajas that means you are a karmic person you are continuously honestly doing your work you are happy man okay go ahead if you are into tamas then you are with the bad addiction you are wasting your time you are killing your time you are behind women matlab women i just don't want to say women i mean to say ki you are not simply you know there is a point of view also na if you look at the women with the right uh, drashti with the right aspect that is always appreciated appreciated okay. but if you see the women with the wrong aspect or wrong uh, if you see any one with the wrong aspect that is something that shows reflects your character so something somehow we if we go into deep we have to understand that everything is being surrounded and this prakriti is variable it will keep changing नेचर आपका वेट नहीं करता आप पचास साल पहले देखोगे थिंग्स वर टोटली डिफरेंट ओके स्पेसिफिकली यू टॉक अबाउट व्हेन वी से आई एम अ पर्सन ऑफ 1970s यू कैन से बट आई जस्ट मीन टू से 1960s 1940s थिंग्स वर डिफरेंट प्रकृति इज चेंजिंग बट यू वी ह्यूमन आर पुरुष वी आर वी आर नॉट चेंजिंग we are still there but we have to change we have to sync with the prakriti if we are synced with the prakriti we are synchronized with the nature then definitely we will we will change internally and that is the ultimate objective of our life also and if we will internally change in the right direction then we will attain the supernatural goals of the spirituality that is our atma will meet to the parmatma at the that is our ultimate goal of every soul every soul but the point is this there are different levels of awakening and if those awakening levels are channelized if people are going in the right direction they are doing right kind of things then this body is only as, as an instrument 
जानवर तो मेडिटेट नहीं कर पाता काउ इज नॉट एबल टू मेडिटेट यू नो एनी ऑफ द यू नो स्पीशीज आर नॉट एबल टू मेडिटेट बट ह्यूमन बॉडी इज स्पेशल यू नो काइंड ऑफ ब्लेसिंग टू आवर सोल दैट वी कैन मेडिटेट वी कैन अटेन द सुपर नेचुरल गोल ऑफ आवर सोल्स so ultimately don't live for your commercial goal or your materialistic goal live your life for the spiritual goals that will actually bring spirituality to you that not only spirituality in spirituality also you know extreme should not be there. as in my last workshop also i mentioned that matlab though this thing does not uh, popularize much but it is a hard to concept what you know has been observed that uh, vivekananda dies in the early age that was due to extreme meditation his his when he was meditating his soul was somewhere else during that point what happened his soul was not able to come back and people thought he is dead in india you know now in india you know agar aap kahin ja ke akele mein if you will sit in a lonely place also people will find you that is the problem so yeah. this is how we have to understand so um, this is how you know osho osho do you know i don't know acharya rajneesh osho you have listened about that guy always used to have a person around him especially if it is about a osho yes osho is a very uh, i would say amazing a, amazing genius actually yes 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 uh, if you follow osho osho will you know certainly give you deep insights on the meditation even people talk to me people come to us you know generally youngsters also in my community also so many people young to come to sir we want to do past life regression or i i told them ki you are not able to handle your Uh, this life you when you will know about your past life you will certainly mentally upset that mm-hmm. is the point so it is not very easy and by the grace of god nature has created a system where automatically your memory uh, you know all old things uh, suppose if i ask uh, morgan sir what you did on uh, you know 10th june uh, 2011 he will not remember but nature has created that kind of system automatically that memory will be stored somewhere it is kept that entire data is kept 10 years back on 21st june or or on 20th june say today is 20th june he what he did in 2011 though murgan sir do not remember but the point is this that memory is captured and when we go to lifetime regression the past life regression you know we step by step with the help of meditation we goes back but you know going into the past and peep, peeping down into the past life regression needs lot of practice it is not so easy and you will be certainly you know definitely mentally upset you know some of my you know like people who in the who are in the community young youngsters they were asking me these questions so i told them that i will not talk about these aspects in the community you people are young people and certainly if you will um, you know without any uh, proper meditation practices you will touch you will try to talk to souls you will try to connect with these supernatural powers you will get disturbed and it mm-hmm. is my own experience also i took you know i did this mistake when i was almost 19 years long back so i i called a yes, spirit and then it i was not able to handle and by the grace of god then i told everything to my father then my father helped me he so he was also uh, you know able to handle all these things so though he is a banker he retired as banker but he is doctorate in this field so he helped me to come out of that situation so never connect with any souls never do these kind of practices this is basically called tantra tantra aisa nahi follow karna it it really, really needs experience and you need some guru and under his guidance always we need to do uh, these kind of practices of past regression osho is a very perfect guru in his in his guidance you can go to your you can do the past regression but not uh, you know in the guidance of any tom dick and harry never do these kind of practices even meditation i mean to say may take your life so that is the point yeah. okay. so um, with this note uh, any questions or shall we take leave please tell me i am just opening my camera so i'll just uh, knowledge thank you very much i'll keep in touch with you any oh, email yeah. id in any email id anything is there but Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can okay. you share the presentation in that you might be having it correct your number and? I, I will. I will. I will share it with you, sir. Thank you. Thank you I very much. I will share my mail ID. Hand. Our mobile number will be with you if you need any kind of help in any areas sure. of there. 
so we can always talk uh, sumi ma'am sachin ji pravin sir any questions you can thank you very much and thanks all the yes. other participants no sir i uh, thank you very much okay, sir no questions sir thank you sir right thank you right. very much okay jin namaskar thank you very namaste. much namaste namaste right sir thank, thank you, you. yes